Billions are on the line for the U.S. economy as pork strike negotiations stall. Uh, the White House has been nudging the International Longshoremen's Association and shipping companies to reach a deal. CBS News White House reporter Willie James Inman spoke to President Joe Biden just moments ago. Uh, Willie James, what did he tell you? Hey there, Vlad. Good to be with you. Well, the president is saying that they're potentially closer to a deal. He said, I think we're making progress when he was asked about uh, these port strikes. Now, it's important to note that the White House is not directly involved in negotiations, but they are facilitating conversations, having those conversations with both groups, trying to urge them to come to some type of an agreement. Now, this White House has been adamant that they're not going to invoke the Taft-Hartley Act. That is something that the business leaders, uh, others around the United States have been trying to nudge the president to do to kind of just uh, lay the ground here and stop this strike in the immediate term so they can work on things, uh, but also to get those workers back to work. The president and the White House saying that he's not going to do that, uh, they've ruled that out. Uh, but the president saying just moments ago, I think we're making progress when asked about uh, these dock workers and the stri ongoing strike, Vlad. And let me ask you about another thing, uh, Willie James, uh, the rising conflict in the Middle East after that Iranian ballistic missile attack on Israel. Uh, we know that the White House uh, has told Israel that they do not support Israeli airstrikes on Iranian nuclear facilities. What else are you hearing? Yeah, we heard from the president moments ago, as you mentioned. We were just on the South Lawn as the president took off uh, on Marine One. He's headed to Georgia and Florida today to see uh, the storm damage there. And I asked him, uh, will the United States allow Israel to retaliate against Iran? And he responded pretty quickly to my question. He said, first of all, we don't allow Israel. We advise Israel. And there is nothing is in there is nothing that's going to happen today. That's what the president said in response to my question just moments ago. Uh, now, it's important to point out that the United States has been uh, trying to call about a ceasefire between uh, Israel and Hezbollah, a 21-day ceasefire. That so far has not happened. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been adamant that the Israelis will respond and try to protect uh, their border. There's been skirmishes, of course, along that border with between Israel and uh, Lebanon. And the United States is trying to nudge the Israelis to de-escalate those tensions. But after that missile attack from Iran, the United States saying that there will be some type of response. But President Biden saying today uh, that essentially nothing is going to happen today. But we anticipate we will see something in the foreseeable future. But officials here at the White House have not been willing to telegraph what that response might be, Vlad. All right, Willie James, thank you very much, my friend. Appreciate it.